could you not make a, a very well-documented case that if any member of the Boston Red Sox needs to have next year's contract reworked, extended, or padded, it would be John Lackey over David Ortiz? Oh, of course. Yeah. Absolutely. That's not even There's a, a lot of guys whose contracts are up and their threats to leave, beginning with John Lester and, mm-hmm. and Johnny Gomes. and I mean, there are guys, I'm not saying that they want to keep them all, but there are guys who could say, my contract's up, and if you don't extend me, I'm gone. Mm-hmm. Ortiz isn't one of those right. guys. He was going nowhere. But back to Lackey, it is funny because he'll never publicly complain. As far as we know, he'll never say anything. But quietly, privately, is he going to say, this is just wrong? Um, I mean, I know the deal. I know uh, he. it's because he had elbow mm-hmm. uh, issues, surgery. Yeah. Right. But uh, there it is, 2015, $500. Hundred thousand dollars wow. is his salary, and he'll be your ace next year. Do you think there is a move afoot within the ivory towers of the Boston Red Sox organization, ownership, and Ben as well, looking at each other and saying, "Listen, we took care of David. I think we need to sit down and do a little something for John Lackey here." Well, if you're or- Lackey, don't you say, "David squeaked." Yes, you have to be yes. the, the squeaky wheel, or you get nothing. I understand. So why don't you complain? If, 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 if you reward a guy for complaining. But how would you do it if you're – if because you – I mean, obviously, you hold the cards. You hold the leverage if you're Charrington. It would have to be a two-year extension. A one-year extension would make no sense. Right. Uh, two years, uh, you know, next year and then beyond. Or, I think it would be ex- like – it would almost be like the Dempster money, maybe. You'd say like maybe – 12? Little, yeah, you'd say we're going to so turn the balance this into this. out to like six? Yeah, something like that. So you give him one year and 12, it balances out to six per year for the next two? He'll still feel underpaid. Yeah, 15, 14 then? I, I mean, whatever, seven, yeah. whatever it is. I mean, so the, you give him a one-year $14 million extension, and he may be done by then. Well, do you, you know? think they're amenable be. to this, or do you think they think, listen, we have him. He's under our thumb for a half a million dollars next year. Yeah, he can sure. start bitching, but probably won't do it publicly, as Jerry points out. I mean, it's a conversation out. they can have in this offseason. So, I mean, they don't have to have it today. You can see what happens with Lackey Well, this they year. had to have David's conversation well, this you, season, well, didn't you, they? Well, he gets because he was bitching. If Lackey starts bitching, then it's a different... Now, I will He's, say this. If Lackey starts bitching, people like Lackey right now, but if he starts bitching, they're going to turn on him. He won't do it publicly. He won't. No, he, it uh, may be going on right now, by right. the way. Right, it may be going on. He's 36 in uh, October, so all next year he'll be 36 when you get him for 500 grand. Mm-hmm. If you extend him at one year and 14, he'll be 37, I'm pretty sure. Right. And he might be done. You know, he might no longer be effective. That that And you're extending him unnecessarily. All right, quick off the top of your head, who will have a better year next year as a pitcher or as a DH? Lackey or David? Because you're taking the same risk with David as you would be with John Lackey, right? A year well, from now? Better um, by their standard, you mean? Yes. Uh, Probably, oof. That's a good question, dude. I'd probably say Lackey. Lackey's obviously he's throwing younger. 90, he's throwing but, 95 right now. Yeah, he's got that second year after Tommy John thing going <laughs> yeah, on. I mean, yeah. he looks like he's... But what would you do if you were Charrington? Would you try well, to it, make well, him happy? Well, here's the thing. I, I wouldn't sign Lester because I wouldn't pay a guy in his late 30s 15, 16, 17 million dollars a year. Some of the turnaround. Yeah, he wants more than that. He does want more. Yeah, than that. Say twenty two. Yeah. Fine. So, but what do you think Lackey's going to want? Lackey's not. Lackey's probably well, going to say wanting is, is okay. But that's a question. I mean, though. you so, have him. You don't have Lester. You have Lackey. Well, let's say Lackey's good this year. They don't sign him, and he's good next year. What does Lackey get in the open market? A Dempster deal. Thirty seven. Sure, Thirteen million a year. At two for twenty six. Three maybe. years for forty. Right. Maybe. Um, but next year he's going to pitch the whole year for five hundred thousand. And I know he doesn't talk to the media much or he doesn't open up, but he's going to hear that question every day. Mm. I mean, first day of spring training, are you okay with playing? You know, you're you're, you're making less than, you know. Uh, Daniel, I mean, uh, Jackie Bradley anybody. Jr. I mean, every, basically any anybody. Yeah. Making less than Joe Castiglione. You okay with that? Right. And, you know, you can say, well, he signed the deal. He knew when he signed it. But when he signed it, he never thought this was going to happen. And by the right. way, Jerry, Ever. that question will come way sooner than spring training. He right. wins another game or two, goes 4-0 and and p- pitches like this. Question going to be, John, what do you think about next year? For more, visit weei.com slash video.